Hey everybody, Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how to create an interesting photo collage in Photoshop, similar to something you'd see from the program Instagram. So to begin, you want to create a new document, 750 by 750 pixels. And here you can see I've selected four different pictures. So grab your pictures that you want to use beforehand, but we'll get to those later. The first thing you want to do on this new document you have here is segment it into four different sections. And we're going to do this by grabbing our rectangle tool, making sure it's on shape layers mode, and next to this little star here, cl click the drop down menu. Here you should see some options. Select fixed size, and we're going to separate the right half of this picture into thirds. So half of 750 is 375, and then a third of 750 is 250. So it's going to be 375 width by 250 height. Height. Height is not a word. But make sure when you're doing it, it doesn't automatically fill in inches, because that's way too large. That's 27,000 pixels. Make sure you type 375 px pixels or you can right click and select pixels. Also select snap to pixels and if you notice I made my background black just so you can see what's happening you don't have to do that on yours. Now once you click there's no dragging needing to be involved uh, you just click and the shape automatically takes its size that you defined. So let's make that snap to the top right corner and then Command J to duplicate and drag it down until it snaps into, into the edge of the other one and then duplicate it a third time to the bottom right corner. And these are the four sections of our picture. So you can see it better, I'm going to change the color of the middle one. This is not an important detail, I'm just using this to show you. You don't have to do that. But as you can see, we have one, two, three, four sections. These three mini ones and our main one. One last thing we have to do before we start adding our pictures in is create a border. So on a new layer, grab your rectangular marquee tool and click and drag till you select the whole document. Now right click on your selection and select stroke. Here we want to make the width of 13 pixels and the color white and the location inside. Leave all the ble blending settings alone. As you can see, that created a nice semi-thick border. Now hold down on your shape tool until you see the line tool and select that. Let's use shape layers in case we mess up. And under the weight, let's select 13 pixels so that it matches the border. Now in the middle of this edge, click and hold shift to keep your line straight and drag it all the way down until it covers and meets both ends. And then in the middle of this and this section, we're going to do the same thing. And between the second and third photo, do the same. So if you're happy with all these, you can hold shift, click the top one, hold shift, and click the bottom one, and then right click merge layers. So I'm going to name mine borders just so I know. And you have your border on one layer. Now it's time to start adding our pictures. So let's go back to these four that I've opened up. And let's select the main picture, the one that you want to be the biggest. Here I'm going to use the picture of the finished pizza. So click and drag this layer onto your new document. And you'll notice it goes right on top and covers everything up. Don't worry. If your picture is really large like mine, first we're going to select Command C and transform it down a little bit. While holding Shift, I'm going to drag the corners in. And if you want to make this faster, hold Shift and Option so that it drags in from both centers. So once you have a reasonable size, you don't want to make it smaller than your actual border. You can determine the right placement for it. I'm going to give mine a little bit of a rotation here. And once you're happy with that, confirm the changes. So now, all we have to do for this one 
no clipping masks involved. All we have to do is drag it down underneath all our shape layers. And as you can see, it's already bordered off. Now, creating this effect for the smaller portion images is a little bit different. So grab the second picture you want to use, drag it onto your document just like before, and put it above the shape layer that you want it to be on. Here I'm going to fill my top right corner. Now, of course, all my pictures are really big here, so I'm going to have to transform them all and scale them down. Command T and hold shift and drag. But if yours aren't, then you don't have to worry about that. Now, a really important part of this, which is pretty simple, is finding a good placement. You don't want all four of these pictures to be super chaotic and in your face, and you don't want them to all be very big or very small. You want to add some variety. But this time we're going to go to Layer and select the Create Clipping Mask option. As you can see, this masks off the image to only the shape layer and pretty much that's the only different step with these smaller squares and just repeat this process over two more times with the other pictures keep in mind the balance of your overall composition at all times keep a good balance between these simple pictures these small and the up close shots after you've completed all four pictures we want to add a new adjustment layer. I'm going to use gradient map. This way we can bring the colors together and tie it in well. You could use black and white if you want, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this violet to green to orange gradient. Now don't worry, this is looking pretty alien right now, but we're going to use blending modes in combination with this. If you don't see it, just reset your gradients and you should find it. Make sure reverse is not checked and under the blending mode go to opacity and turn it down to about 40 to 50 percent and under the blending mode set it to exclusion what this does is it subdues the highlights a little bit so that the image is not coming at you so brightly and with the combination of all four of these images it gives them a similar color tone it also lets the white border stand out because there's no more white highlights in the photos. Thanks for watching and check out these previous tutorials. Also, don't forget to subscribe for future ones.